And on the frontiers of science, the strange world of the computer, soon they'll design one that actually thinks like a man. Paul Allen was an idea man. He had an insatiable curiosity for technology. What inspired Paul was being able to recover old programs, mythical code, and get them running on hardware so that they can be studied. The collection represents fundamental building blocks of computer design and early optimistic ideas of AI in the 60s and 70s. To extend the power of the brain, we have created incredibly swift machines that can do in a minute what would take a man a lifetime. The IBM 36091 represented the high end of the IBM 360 line. There was only 13 of those made and about 11 of them actually deployed. They were used in weather modeling trajectory for some of the space missions. We have ignition. The KI-10 was a real breakthrough for time sharing where the user feels like they have the machine all to themselves, but in reality the CPU is just servicing a whole group of users. That planted the seed that networking and remote services were important. We can connect all over the world. It erases the meaning of space. For the Xerox Alto, Xerox wanted ease of use with pictograms and icons for non-computer programmers, as well as commercializing the first mouse. Prior to the mouse, there were pointing devices, but they were typically done with light pins where you had to point to the screen, and this becomes tiresome. Doug Eaglebart thought, well, why don't we just put the pointer on the table and I can just move it around on the screen. Paul saw the altar on popular electronics and realized that somebody had taken the concept of a microprocessor and implemented a computer around it. Well, what he didn't know is that was a mock-up on the cover, but it still lit a fire under him that somebody was going to build this microcomputer and Paul wanted to build software for it. The Cray 1 and Cray 2 are these beautiful computers as opposed to maybe what IBM was creating at the time, which was just nondescript cabinets. Cray made them exceedingly fast. He used alternative cooling methods, getting the circuits as close together with particular wiring, making a race car of computers, and at the same time, beautiful industrial design. The Apple I was designed as a hobbyist kit. You would get it completely unassembled, just the chips. Most people just nailed them to a board. This is a grand collection of restored machines, some of the most important milestones in the history of computing. Paul put this collection together to inspire the next generation of technologists. If we think of technology as a giant tree with a bunch of branches, there's all sorts of different ideas that people try, and it's important to study these breakthroughs in design to hopefully inform new ideas.